to Erica. Let's take a look at how we count in binary. So in binary, we only have two digits, a one and a zero. So you might think, well, there's some things I could represent like one or 10 or a hundred, but what about all those numbers in between that don't have a one or a zero? How would I write those with just zeros and ones? One of the ways that we have figured out how to do this is we have little binary cards. And so in the same way that a one with one zero after it is typically 10 or two zeros after it is 100, right? We have these natural placeholders and binary also uses natural placeholders. And so what you're gonna do with these cards, these cards are available in our Teachers Pay Teachers download. And you'll notice I have one dot on one card, two dots on another, then four. You can probably guess what the next one, I've got eight. What do you think the next card is going to have? 16, 32, and it'll keep going, 64, and so on. And you'll notice that if I wanted to write one, I could just have one dot here. If I wanted to write two, I could use this card, but I'd have to indicate where that one was. So I could put a zero down here, and then I could put the two card up, and there I have two dots. Now let's say I want three. Well, I can just flip that over. If I want four, I'll have to put the four card down and flip these guys over. So one, zero, zero would be four. If I want to make five, can you think about what I would flip over to make the number five? Yeah, I would flip over this one. So one, zero, one is gonna be the number five. If I wanna make six, I'm gonna count up here. One, one, zero is going to be six. And then I could do seven. One, one, one is seven. Now, if I want to go bigger, I need a whole new card. I need eight. And you can try to think about how high can I count with the number eight here. Well, I can go eight plus four plus two plus one, which just happens to be twice eight, which is 16 minus one, or one less than the next card of 16. If I wanted to write 31, I have it here. It's just one, 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 one. Now a trick to binary though, is you need to go from low to high in the opposite order. So your lowest numbers are gonna be on your right hand side and your highest numbers are gonna be on the left hand side. That helps us because it gives us the right place values for all of these. So if a card is flipped over when you're counting the dots, it gets a one. If it's not showing, it gets a zero. And that's how we count in binary and how computers can store digits that are not ones and zeros.